How's it going everyone? UML here. This is a tutorial on how to add a Mario Kart Wii custom track to CTGP and Dolphin. Uh, I wanted to make this video because I have looked for quite a while now and I haven't found a video addressing this topic. Uh, but it was something that I wanted to know about a while ago but I haven't really figured out until relatively recently. Uh, so without wasting any more time, let's just get started. So I will first start with doing it on CTGP using the My Stuff folder. Uh, now let me just say first and foremost that not every custom track seems to work on CTGP for some reason. I'm not completely sure why, um, but if you end up seeing an error when you're trying to load it, uh, it might not be your fault, it might be that it's just not compatible. Uh, but the way, to, the way that you go about this depends on the file name. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is this track here, for example, Green Hill Zone. Uh, when you download this file, uh, it will download as castlecourse.szs. And that pretty much means that the work's already done. Uh, the name of the file is very important. Uh, and this website here, for example, has all of the file names in the game. And for this tutorial, you're going to want to look at the tracks and see which one corresponds to the file. In this case, that would be Mario Circuit. And so you already have it downloaded. And you're just going to want to add it to your My Stuff folder. And, I mean, that's it. So you add it there, and you're good to go. Uh, now, if you have a track like this, this is Big Blue, uh, this file, when you download it, it will have a different name. It will be a custom name, and if you were to add this to your My Stuff folder, uh, it would not work. It would not load because the game looks for the file name in order to load it. And so, in this case, you are going to have to rename it yourself. Now, depending on the custom course, and this is where the wiki comes in handy, um, and understanding what slots are. So the slots are the placements of the regular tracks, and as you can see, they're named 1.1, 1.2, etc. And so, uh, for this track, uh, Big Blue, uh, if you go to the wiki page, um, if you go to the wiki page, uh, every track has this WBZ files link. So click on that and click on the information icon and go to where it says recommended slots. And this track it says property slot 8.1 and that translates to uh, SNES Mario Circuit 3. And so in this case you're going to want to rename it the file name for Mario Circuit 3. And I think for the most part it depends on what objects are being used. It should say uh, on the wiki page, assuming that you ha are loading a track that has a wiki page on the custom Mario Kart wiki. Um, but it should say if there are only certain slots that are compatible. I don't believe it matters too much for most tracks. You can add it to whichever, like replace a track, a regular track, and it should work just fine. Uh, so you're going to want to rename it uh, Mario Circuit 3. I mean, if it says recommended slot, just name it the recommended one, and you know it'll work. So go to the list, and uh, Mario Circuit 3, right here, hold Mario.sfc. So, I mean, I'm just going to copy and paste that. So, rename it. And there you go. And now, it is ready to be added. And once you load it in CTGP, and as long as your My Stuff folder is enabled, uh, it should load, no problem. And if it doesn't, again, it just might not be compatible. Uh, you could try a different slot, naming it a different, uh, just a different course, maybe seeing if that works. 
um, but as long as you use the recommended one, that should be fine. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward with doing it through CTGP. Now as for the dolphin method, I actually find this, this method to be a lot easier because it seems to load every custom track that I've tried, even ones that don't work on CTGP. Uh, so for this, the first thing you're going to want to do actually, uh, you're going to use a program called Wii Scrubber. Uh, but uh, the first thing uh, that I think would be easier to do, um, at least I would recommend doing this, because that way you have a backup of your game's data. So I already did it. It doesn't show up for me. Actually, I guess it does show up now. Okay, so uh, you're going to want to go to the File System tab. Uh, I guess as you saw what I did there, click Properties file system and you're going to want to right click the disk and press extract. I already did this but it's just going to ask you to save it, ask you where to save it. I'd save it in a folder, like I have a folder here filled with Nintendo programs and I have it saved right here, MKWE extract. Let's make a folder and have it saved there and should be good to go. And then once you get that done, uh, I'm, we're going to download this. Uh, There's a lot of ads on this site, but whatever. Uh, so you download it. Once it's done downloading, you can just extract it. Or what I'm going to do actually, I'm not going to extract it here. I'm going to drag it to my Nintendo program folder and extract it there. In fact, let me make a folder. Oh, don't know what I just did there. Okay. Drag it there. We're going to extract it in here. And, I mean, the only thing that you... I mean, there's, there's a lot of extractable files here. The only two that I would extract is... The Wii Scrubber and the make key bin. You're gonna have to extract this to make a key.bin file for the program to work. And before you open the application, I said if I open it now, see it says una unable to open key.bin and you can't really do anything without that. So you're going to want to open the key.bin program and then it'll generate it for you. Then you can open it and you're going to want to load and obviously this, is, obviously this is assuming you already have Mario Kart Wii on Dolphin. Um, so you're going to want to find where you have that file stored. Uh, for me I have it in the same file. wait for that to open and then you're gonna see partition here you should see something like this so click the little plus and then you're gonna want to go down to where it says race then even more I draw another drop down menu you're gonna go to course so once you're here you're gonna see a bunch of file names each one corresponding to a course in the game. So you're going to want to find the course that you're replacing. In our case, we're going to be using this old Mario one. And so we're going to find that file name in the list. And it's all, al it's al it's alphabetical. So that should make it a little easier to find. So old Mario SFC, there it is. Uh, don't worry about this underscore D file. Each course has it and I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that, just worry about the original file. So right click and you're going to press replace. And the reason why, I think I mentioned this before but in case I didn't, 
So once you ex uh, extract that data from the game, from Dolphin, that'll make sure that if you want to uh, replace the custom track that you can do that. Uh, so it's pretty important that you do that. At least I think that's what happens. I haven't really tested it out, admittedly. But I think that's the, the purpose for that. Uh, so just find the file right here and then I should say successfully replaced and that is actually it so once you have done that I'm not going to open up Dolphin because my computer is literally a potato I'll put up some screenshots just to show that it works and uh, so that you'll be able to see I don't usually make tutorials, but if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to add custom characters to Dolphin on Mario Kart Wii, I'd do a quick video on that. Um, it's a pretty easy process, um, but you know maybe I'll do that next time. Uh, I don't know if there's really much of a demand for that. Uh, but since I haven't really seen many videos covering this, I thought it'd be an interesting topic. I know not all of you, especially if you're subscribed, I know most of you probably don't care about this kind of thing um, but since I just haven't seen any videos on it and it means so much to me I thought I would do the honor and make this video and maybe it helps some of you so that'll wrap things up hopefully this helped some of you out and until next time just have a good one